at DMG Mori's open house in Fronton, and we're about to tell you about their world premiere of a CTX350. Now, Paul, this is one of their premiere turning centers, isn't it? Yeah, uh, a new range, the CTX, a universal lathe, plenty of options on this machine, um, and it's actually going to be replacing another model. Right, okay, so what is, where, where is this aimed at? Okay, so in the UK, we're going into companies all the time that are looking at getting a part off of the machine in one operation. You can do that with the CTX machine. We also right. go into companies that are looking for the ultimate in precision. You will achieve that with the CTX machine. Why? Loads of factors on this. I mean, one of which I'll tell you about. In fact, we'll open the door here. Um, on this particular machine, the spindle has a, a direct drive motor, which means that when you're interpolating or you're trying to get the best out of this machine, turning and milling at the same time, you can get far better results with a, with a direct drive motor as opposed to a belt driven spindle. That's just one reason of many. Okay, and it's not the only model in the range though, is it? Absolutely not. Now this is the actual CTX 350. There is a 450, a 550 and a 750 coming soon as well. But here at this show, and as it stands at the moment, the 350 is the model that is being launched. Tell me about more of these options. Okay, so now you have the, the V3, which is a machine that has driven tools uh, and a single spindle. You have a V4, which then has uh, a Y-axis on the machine as well, which means you can, you can do more, more tricky and more difficult machining. And then you have the V6, which actually gives you a sub-spindle as well as all the other, uh, the Y-axis and the driven tools as well. So very, very expandable. It's a linear guide machine too. It is. Now, if you look at um, the other machine, that in fact is to the, uh, to the right of me there, the NLX. Now that as a machine is a box guideway machine. This is linear rails. So there's an argument for uh, a box guideway and there's an argument for linear rails, speed, um, you know, maintenance and all of those elements are what is attractive to this machine to use the linear rail configuration. Right, any more options on this? Because I know there's quite a, quite a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean, this machine, you can obviously have parts catchers, bar feeds, ejectors. Uh, the the subspindle on this machine is actually 50 millimetres now, as opposed to on the previous CLX machine, which was actually 32. So there's a lot of these small but really, really important improvements. That's, that's kind of what... DMG Morrow, that's why they say they're excellent. They're, you they're go around this show and every machine advances every time that's you it. come here. There's an advancement and it might be small, but it can have a huge impact on the quality of the parts and the speed that you can manufacture components. And that's exactly what's happening here with the CTX range. Small but mighty, I like that. Right, okay, technology cycles. It's a bit of a buzzword. What is this? So there's 55 technology cycles within the DMG Mori portfolio. Um, and, and they're things that will assist you in in programming, they'll assist you in getting the best out of the performance of the machine. And that's really important to, to maintain those two things I said earlier about precision, speed and one hit machining. Right, this is high technology. I'm fairly new, maybe I'm a bit inexperienced. This would scare me a little bit, or would that help me? Well, that's where a technology cycle comes in. I mean, you know, these machines, they're, they're multi-purpose machines, they're multi-function, and that means that you, you can be doing all kinds of challenging machining operations like gear cutting and, or gear skiving and things like that. You're not going to be able to do that long-handed on a control, and no one would expect you to. It would be inefficient to do that. So a technology cycle would be something like that. Similarly, expanding on that, it will be to keep the performance of the machine. So it might look at when you're actually doing a turning or a milling operation, is there any vibration? Can, I, can, I, can the machine perform that in a slightly more efficient way? And all of those things will mean you'll get the best out of the machine and also less wear on the machine, less wear on your tools. So these technology cycles are really, really important. And in fact, when you go around the show, they're applicable to pretty much every machine and application. I love it, it adds to their excellence. So if you are after a turning center with all of this technology, then look no further than the CTX 350 and the whole of its range.